HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, mutates so fast that when our immune system is ready to control it, the new variants of the virus escape from its action. This is one of the main obstacles to eradicate HIV. So, we need a strategy to control or eliminate the virus before it begins to mutate. This strategy means designing really potent HIV vaccines that should be based on virus-like particles, the so-called VLPs. VLPs are synthetic particles designed in our laboratory. They mimic the structure of HIV, but they can't replicate, and therefore, VLPs cannot infect cells. Once VLPs are injected, the immune system learns to control HIV infection. Thus, when the real virus enters the body, the immune system already knows how to block it. Currently, we have developed the VLP production pipeline thanks to philanthropy. Now, we are able to boost the design process of a potent vaccine. In our laboratory, we have selected the most vulnerable areas of HIV in order to teach our immune system to identify and eliminate the virus. The easiest way to understand our work is picturing the VLPs as small marbles that have on its surface thousands of molecules that will teach our immune system. BLPs are synthetic because they are generated in the laboratory by cells that we culture ourselves, here. To isolate BLPs, we need to purify them from other cellular components. That's what we do here, using a technique called chromatography. However, we have to verify the purity of BLPs. To do so, we use this test. The more yellow, the more pure and effective the vaccine will be. When we tested our vaccine for the first time in animals, we verified that it generates a very powerful immune response. Now, thanks to philanthropy, we have improved the design and the BLP production capacity. Our group at Ilsikasha has been working on the design of potent HIV vaccines based on VLPs for more than 10 years. This has led us to be one of the most active groups in the world. Now we have to test our new optimized VLPs in animal models again. To do that, we need the required funds to start these experiments this year. One of the advantages of VLPs is that they can be modified so that they are effective against different diseases. Once we demonstrate the effectiveness against HIV, our future goals will be to obtain funding for developing BLP-based treatments against cancer and other infectious diseases.